Hey guys, so I'm going to read you some Brad Neely lyrics instead of just posting the song and, you know, making you try to figure it out yourself. So here are the lyrics. I'm a man. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm a man and I do man things. Yes, I know. Hey, please shut up. I know how I sound. Three, four. I drink it all up. Hell, I even go down. I piss on a bush, I unzip the gowns. You gotta come see me be a man, or else I'm nothing at all. We're all men, and we're doing man things. Yes, we know. Hey, please shut up. We know how we sound. We're all men, and we're doing man things. Yes, we know. Hey, please shut up. We know how this sounds. We're all men. Now, this is a plea to men to not demasculate themselves. Brad Neely is a fucking genius. Um, don't be ashamed of your masculinity. If you feel stifled, um, just explore why why you can't ex can't feel comfortable just being a man just being the traditional caveman the the hunter gatherer the provider you know the woman this is not this is not gender politics this is not right wing left wing this is nature, this is history, this is biology, this is science, this is real science, this is proven science, this is not mumbo jumbo and Paul Rudd, believe the science, that's not fucking science, that is spin doctoring, and I'm trying to prove it to you in the easiest, funniest way I can. Be a fucking man. Reclaim yourself. Look at what is going on around you. Look at how many men are ashamed of themselves. So much that they put on a fucking dress instead of going to get therapy and finding their inner man, their inner strength, their inner caveman. It is not wrong. Do you feel it? Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Listen to your soul. Feel your true self. Don't be something you were not born to be. That's why this world is on fire. Because we're all being told that we can be anything we want to be. That is true. You can be a princess if you want to be, even if you have a dick. It's all here. It's not, you don't have to hack up your body. It's here. If you want to wear weird fucking clothes and call yourself silly names, that's fine, dude. Don't bring politics into it. Don't hurt other people just because you can't figure out who the fuck you are. Don't hurt other people. Stop it. You blue-haired weirdies. You know... I call myself a conservative punk rocker or the Republican punk. And I used to be, I used to be a communist until I woke the fuck up. It's not okay. Sharing everything is not okay. That leads to having no privacy, having nothing of your own having no security, because if you do not follow the rules, you do not partake in the spoils. And you know what? They're taking our words. And they're taking our spoils. And they're giving us nothing but lies. Communism is nice on paper, but in practice, Historically speaking, why don't you fucking read a goddamn book? Don't look it up on the internet. I mean, sometimes that's okay. But you know what? Digital things change. 
things edit. I edit my shit every fucking time I go back to my live journal or my, my dream with. I edit, I read like four pages down and I edit and I change and it changes the reality of the piece. So you can't trust what is digitally there. You have to buy the fucking book and hold it in your hand or find an old, old audio recording that you know is old, like an eight track or a beta tape or a fucking cassette tape. This is important. Pay attention, people. It is so fucking important. I love you all. I want you to wake up. I want you to be happy in your own bodies. And don't cut yourselves up anymore. I have to have this. Look, this is Pepito. He is the son of Satan. It's from a Jonan Vasquez a comic called Squee. And it's part of the Johnny the Homicidal Maniac series. And you should read that too. It's serious. Um, there is a reason that I say that fiction is important to understand. Because people hide things in it. And there's double meanings to everything. And you have to pay attention to what you're watching. And what you're reading. And what you're hearing. Everything has a double meaning. And, and you're just a person and you're taking somebody at face value, right? You think that everything is cool because they're not trying to hurt you because you're taught, you are taught to be polite, to be kind, to not rock the boat, to not question authority. But then you get people, okay, <laughs> David Icke has this thing, he lizard people. And what he means is narcissist. Now, narcissist is a word that has got different words for it for the same definition of person across a lot of different things. There's one in theosophy. Look up Madame Blavatsky and experience that. She was a showman and a charlatan on the surface. She took suckers for all they were worth, but she was doing it to fund the, the inner circle. You know, there's a sucker born every minute. Uh, read some Anton LaVey. He, uh, he's, um, he's a showman too. And he's a, he'll, he's a money grubber, but get yourself a copy of the satanic Bible. Don't read the rituals or anything. I mean, there's double meanings in that, but read the, the nine sins. I'm quoting it wrong. Cause it's been a long time. Nine sins, 11 statements and 11 rules of the earth. It's nine, 11, 11 or 11, nine, nine. I can't remember what, but satanic Bible, Anton LaVey, the satanic sins, read that shit. And then sit there and think about what he's saying to you. And this is not, it's not Satan. It's the self. It's, it's, you know, becoming one with, you know, the reality of, of the singular earth existence. I know I'm going off on a tangent. I sound like a crazy person, but it's all there and it's all in fiction. And okay, in the Bible, there's this, I can't remember where it was. I think it's in Matthew. Um, Jesus is, well, the disciples are all gathered around him and they're basically, the, the gist of it is, they're like, dude, why the fuck do you just keep going around telling these motherfuckers these weird ass stories with the, you know, hiding the meaning in the stories? They're not going to fucking get it. You're just wasting your time telling the stories. And Jesus says, Jesus says, nah, dude, nah. He says, you tell the story and you put the double meaning in it and sometimes somebody gets it and they're like, oh shit. And then you're not, you're not hurting anybody because you're just telling a good fucking story. And, um, 
there's a difference between a good Christian and one that goes to church. And my grandmother was a good Christian, and she taught me some serious shit. And I really want to share all of this with you because I want to keep you guys safe and happy and healthy in your own minds and in your own bodies because I love you all. And I want you to love yourselves. Fix your heart or die.